this is Mallory from BC, and you're listening to Unified Field on CKDU. Okay. Welcome to episode 7 of the Unified Field. I'm Mr. Justin Brown, and you're in for a treat. We have got Suzanne Taylor, executive producer, director of What on Earth Inside the Crop Circle Mystery, uh, graduate Pi Beta Kappa, magna cum laude of NYU. We've got Adam doing the exopolitical pulse from the great white north of BC. And of course, we've got Sylvia Richards on the second installment of the Calendar of the Paranormal. Stick around. This is the Unified Field on CKDU. I just love making pizza. I make pizza seven days a week until 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Freeman's Little New York, the home of gourmet pizzas and so much more. We offer hearty pastas, fresh seafood dishes, and breakfast all day long. Oh, yes, long. a breakfast. I can make breakfast for you all day, all day, anytime. Visit us at 6092 Quinpool Road, Halifax, or take advantage of our free delivery from 4 p.m. to 5 a.m. Yes, call 455-7000. I'll make your pizza. Freeman's Little New York, the best... Hey, don't forget Grafton Street. Right. Join us at our new location at 1726 Grafton Street, Halifax. Buy pizza. It's delicious, huh? Freeman's Little New York, the best slice in town. Are you interested in organic agriculture, growing and raising organic crops and livestock? Now is the time to apply for organic farm apprenticeships all across Canada. Visit www.soilapprenticeships.org for more details. The presidential election in Ghana has been narrowly won by the opposition candidate John Atta Mills. Sick of corporate news? Would rather hear from people in your community and communities across Canada? Tune out the static and tune into Groundwire, 30 minutes of grassroots news produced by independent, on-the-ground journalists and campus community radio stations from coast to coast to coast. Released the first Monday of every month. To listen, contribute, or learn more, visit groundwire.ncra.ca. This is a project of the National Campus and Community Radio Association. Made by you, for you. The state of the world economy is likely to be a dominant issue in 2009. Sick of the mainstream? Listen to the alternative. Groundwire. You are listening to the Unified Field. Your dial. You are now entering the unified field. Yes, we are here. It's Saturday night. Unified Field, UFR, Unified Field Radio, Atlantic Canada's only paranormal radio broadcast. This is Episode 7, the fantastic Suzanne Taylor interview. Here we are uh, for another jam-packed episode. You're not going to believe it, folks. 
We got so much going on here. It's uh, it's fantastic. Not only we do we, do we talk about the crop circles with Suzanne Taylor and her movies and the phenomenon in general. We talk to Sylvia Richards about a UFO case that happened on this date in history. Uh, we also have Adam from the North. Him and I talk about all kinds of stuff, some brand new news from around the world, including Brazil and their open-mindedness to the UFO enigma. We talk about alien abductions. We talk about my own personal experience that I had on Friday the 13th. Unbelievable. There's so much more in this episode, um, so I don't want to waste any time. As usual, I'm going to jump right into the Suzanne Taylor interview Pi Beta Kappa Magna Cum Lauda, graduate of NYU, producer, director, and beautiful spirit. Suzanne Taylor is going to be talking to us about her movies on Crop Circles. So here we go. Without further ado, it's Saturday night. You know what that means. UFR, baby. You're all tuned in. I hope you're all enjoying it so far, the ride that we've come on. And uh, here we are on Episode 7 from beautiful Dalhousie Campus University in Halifax, coastal Nova Scotia. This is the Unified Field on CKDU 88. 8.1 FM. This right here is Suzanne Taylor and I speaking about, it must have been close to three weeks ago, maybe two. So please enjoy. Here we go. Welcome to the Unified Field. I'm your host, Mr. Justin Brown. And this evening on the program, we have Suzanne Taylor. Producer-director Suzanne Taylor has been involved with film since she graduated uh, Phi Beta Kappa and Summa Cum Laude from New York University. Having been an actress, she crossed over to the other side of the camera as the executive producer of the award-winning feature documentary, Crop Circles, Quest for Truth, released in 2002. She began production on her feature documentary, What on Earth, in 2003. A fine arts post-impressionist painter, Suzanne had a one-woman show. She is an accomplished chef and author of the Anybody Can Make It, Everybody Will Love It cookbook. Her long-standing blog, Making Sense of These Times, which can be reached at uh, www.theconversation.org, speaks to the world situation, how we got where we are and how we might get out of the challenging situation we are in. From a progressive perspective... Her Los Angeles home has long been a gathering place for forward-thinking people. Suzanne discovered crop circles in the late 1980s when she saw photos of strange patterns that were appearing in crop fields in southern England. Quote, I was immediately intrigued, and I just knew something beyond the beyond was going on. For a few years, I read reports, looked at photos, and hosted crop circle researchers at my Los Angeles home. It was, it was astonishing to everyone that these complicated works of art, sometimes as big as two football fields, were turning up in crop fields overnight. I made my first trip to England in 1993 and was awed by the experience. I've returned to England many times, and I've become part of a community of artists, philosophers, writers, scientists, mathematicians, and assorted mavericks who are as fascinated as I am by these amazing and mysterious works of art. My belief is that if... It were ascertained that the circles are not being made by people, our world view would change. I made what on earth to try and influence that shift. I want to welcome Suzanne Taylor, producer and director of What on Earth and Crop Circle's Quest for Truth to the program. Welcome, Suzanne. Well, thank you. I think we've said it all now. <laughs> I think we have a little ways to go. My case there. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanted to make sure we had a little bit of a background on you for all those people out in Radioland who aren't familiar with your work. <laughs> you know, I just just to uh, interject there, you know, I put that little piece about, I don't know uh, if you've got the same university system as we have, but um, Phi Beta Kappa and Summa Cum Laude are these uh, academic honors, and you can't get any better than that. And yeah. I put that in there just so that I won't be marginalized. You know, people treat this phenomenon as if it's... Uh, some kind of nonsense or stupid or junk or, you know, whatever, woo-woo. Uh, but you, you can't be woo-woo and uh, get a Phi Beta Kappa key. You kind of have to get a 100 on everything, so... Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, and that's very important. It's almost, it's a little too bad that we have to emphasize these uh, credentials. Um, it's important, but we're, we're uh, here at this point in history, we're realizing that the media has smeared the idea of any forward or progressive thinking, almost like a flat earth society in a sense. And uh, we're about to reach a renaissance, so hopefully we won't have to focus on that so much as the information. Well, we, we don't want to get, you know, conned either. We really don't exactly. want to follow some idiot, you know, who's giving you some silly 
reality or whatever, you know, opinion. Yeah. So, uh, you know, this is good. Uh, I, I look for credentials. You know, who is somebody before I'm going to listen to what they have to say? Absolutely. So I'm glad I have a few, you know. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so, first of all, Suzanne, I, I have to tell you, I, I just mentioned earlier to you when I, when I first called you that I had seen the screening of What on Earth at the CBC here in, in beautiful Halifax, Nova Scotia with my father last fall. I took my father because I thought it was important for him to see this stuff too. Uh, we both... What did Daddy think? Uh, well, my, see, my dad and I have always been kind of into the subject. He got me kind of involved in the, uh, the unexplained at an early age, I think by accident because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've kind of been growing up into it. Uh, my father was an artist as well, uh, like you, and my mother as well was a painter. And uh, so he always had a bit of an open mind, but his thing, we have a real national pride in our Canadian Broadcasting Corporation uh, to deliver uh, the straight dope on, on worldly news. A um, little less filtered than most media s- sources. Uh, so we used to listen to radio programs on our long trips to, to go to the island here off of Nova Scotia where we're from and some of the programs that would come up from time to time were about the unexplained. Crop circles, UFOs and, and the likes. So I was introduced to the subject at an early age so taking my, my dad to this screening was important for me because I felt like he lost a little bit of touch with what's happening in the progressive world of consciousness and expansion therein, so we really enjoyed uh, the movie. I want to tell you, Suzanne, that uh, it is a beautiful movie, the way you've laid it out, and watching it again from the link you sent me, uh, I got goosebumps and chills watching it. You know, the combination of the artistic integrity of the film, the music, and the content uh, sent chills up up my spine, and I want to thank you for making this movie. Beautiful. When I used to watch it earlier on, before I seen it a million times, yeah, kind of new. I would get chills too. Oh God, this is such thrilling information. And we did try to make. Uh, I don't know if saying Hollywood movie is a bad thing or a good thing, but you know, we we have production values, and it. it's not a, a little video. You know, there's several of those floating around. You know, they tell you a lot, but they're not. You know, you, you, our visual. Uh, sophistication these days is pretty high, and we tried to make a movie to satisfy that, so that we would uh, touch all the bases and not all the I's and cross the T's, and really make it a good movie. Yeah, well, you did a fantastic job. I, I, I thank you, and uh, all of the radio listeners who have seen the movie, I'm sure, feel the same way. Uh, it is an incredible phenomena, and it's not a new phenomenon, but the the crop circles that have been coming up for the last well, let's just say, well, 30 years, but mostly the last 20, 15 in specific, they've been really evolving at a rapid rate, and uh, um, they point in a direction of new ideas, thinking, mathematics, new ways of approaching problems. It's an incredible phenomenon, and so what I want to get to here before we go into the film is that you've got an interesting background. Like I mentioned in your bio, you, you've been an actress, you're you know, a post-impressionist painter, a chef, an author, and now producer-director. It's easy to ascertain why you would uh, delve into the realm of expansion, con- expanding consciousness and thought, but how you got there is another story. I know, as you mentioned in your bio, that you came across photos of crop circles, and uh, that intrigued you, which led to investigations of reports, and now these movies. Uh, have you always been interested in the unexplained, for lack of better vernacular? not. I don't know any more about UFOs than the next person, except, of course, the UFO community likes my movie, so I do end up going to conferences and what have you, and I've learned since I did the movie about that sort of thing. And Russell Targ, who ran the uh, research lab at uh, SRI, Stanford Research, uh, when the CIO was funded, CIO, CIA right. was funding, uh, for 20 years, they funded research into remote viewing mm. uh, during the Cold War, when... Uh, Psychic people, I guess that's what you would call them, or people who were able to see beyond where we are, would visualize what was in targeted places, like what's going on where the Russians have all this buzz of activity. And the um, report, 